Now guys, I am running this on my local host and with one single prompt, I was capable of creating this beautiful CRM dashboard. You have this main dashboard where you can see your total contacts, active deals, pending tasks, as well as the success rate with recent activity. But you also have the ability to add contacts over here. You have deals and tasks, as well as having the ability to go ahead and add these contacts over here so that you can visualize it within the main dashboard. It's been a month since the release of Gemini 2.0 Flash and we've all seen its incredible capabilities in coding, multimodal processing, advanced math, and so much more. On this channel, we've demonstrated how this groundbreaking model can generate full stack applications with functional backends seamlessly linked to authentication systems as well as databases. But what if you could take this even further? by pairing Gemini 2.0 Flash with another powerful Google product. This is where I would like to reintroduce a product we've showcased on this channel called the Project IDX, a free cloud-based AI editor accessible to anyone through the web. Project IDX is an excellent alternative to tools like Cursor and Windsurf, which is going to be offering advanced functionalities completely for free. And now you can combine it with Gemini 2.0 Flash to create one of the most ideal coding workflows imaginable. And there's actually a couple of new updates that I would like to cover throughout today's video. So with that thought guys, today we're going to be showcasing how you can leverage the powerful combination to build any full stack application effortlessly, as well as highlighting a couple of new advancements to Project IDX. So with that thought, let's get started and let's get straight to the video. To get started, we're going to take a look at what Project IDX is for the people who do not know. It's a cloud-based development environment and it's designed to simplify building, shipping, and managing full-stack multi-platform applications. It's accessible on your browser and it offers AI-powered coding assistance like you would see with Windsurf as well as many other platforms like Cursor. You have the ability to instantly access many of these different frameworks completely for free even Flutter, which is great. And this is where you also have the ability to access many different types of supports to various tools like Git, as well as having the ability to have Docker initialized within the IDX platform. It's efficient, scalable, and this is why I definitely recommend that you try it out because it's completely for free. And this allows you to access many of the other Gemini models for free as well. And guys, when I said that it has practically every single feature that Windsurf and Cursor has, I actually mean that because you have the ability for inline editing, you have auto completion, you also have the ability to chat with your AI agent within Project IDX. And just recently, they've allowed it so that you can access the Gemini 2.0 Flash model within their interactive chat, which is going to allow you to execute various commands with a really powerful model. You have the ability to have this AI chat go further by having it run terminal commands. You can have it run tools, automate certain sort of generations, and so much more. What you want to do first is head over to Project IDX website link that I'll leave in the description below. Once you are here, you can start off by selecting a template. Now, in this case, you can see all the different types of templates for what you're trying to create. In this case, you can create web apps. You can create backends, mobile, AI and machine learning, databases, and many other different types of things. In this case, we're going to start off by going over to web app and we're going to create a next uh, JS project. We're going to go ahead and name this something. Let's just name it a world of AI app for now. And we can select between the languages. You can select JavaScript or TypeScript. And from here, you can go ahead and click on create. Once that is done, it's going to set up your workspace. And once this is done, it will then take us over the VS Code uh, sort of UX for their editor. And there we go. The workspace has been created. And what you can do now is you can start working on this template by clicking on this tab over here. Click on this Gemini code action button. This will allow you to start chatting with Gemini or you can start inline chat. So in this case, if you want to enter a prompt, you can ask it to improve like the generation over here. So you can say, please improve the code snippet and it will use the Gemini 2.0 flash model in this case to make the inline changes within this code snippet over here. 
And there we go. We have this generation. You can see it was able to improve the code for us. And we can go ahead and accept this. But what I'm going to be showcasing is going over to the AI chat tab, chatting with a Gemini. So this is a really cool feature where you have the ability to use the Gemini 2.0 flash model within this chat tab to generate anything you would like. This is a super broad prompt where I'm going to ask it to create a fully functional CRM website. You can see that it's going to go ahead, take in the prompt by creating a plan. It's going to use different AI agents and then deploy it to create the code for it. So in this case, you can see that it is already starting to work with the template that it had originally created. And you can see it is going ahead to update the necessary files as well as start editing the code to create this application for me. Now, if you notice this time around, the interactive chat has definitely been updated and it definitely looks a lot better than before. In this case, it's going to be easier for you to use this interactive chat to build anything you would like where it can execute terminal commands as well as updating files and reviewing files. So you can see how easy this process is. And it looks like the uh, app has been fully created. So now we can take a preview of it. Now guys, I am running this on my local host and with one single prompt, I was capable of creating this beautiful CRM dashboard. You have this main dashboard where you can see your total context, active deals, pending tasks, as well as the success rate with recent activity. But you also have the ability to add context over here. You have deals and tasks, as well as having the ability to go ahead and add these contacts over here so that you can visualize it within the main dashboard. This is all capable of being created with the help of Project IDX, which is why I wanted to really showcase this today with the help of having Gemini 2.0 Flash combined with it. Now, this time around, I'm in a React environment. And one thing I wanted to know is that you also have the ability to access extensions. This is where you can access many of the other extensions that you would with within VS Code. So in this case, if you would like, you can even have it so that you can use something like Klein, which will allow you to easily use something like the Cloud 3.5 Sonnet model within uh, the Project IDX editor. Now, this is obviously if you would want to use another model as well as access many of the other features that you would see within Klein. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's about it for today's video guys. This is how you can access the best coding based workflow completely for free on the cloud and while accessing a powerful model such as the Gemini 2.0 Flash. But it also gives you a lot of flexibility in which you can access different extensions like Klein so that you can access other models like Cloud 3.5 Sonnet with a free IDX or a free IDE, sorry. But in this case, you can see that this is a great alternative to Cursor as well as Windsurf while being completely for free with a powerful model linked to it. So definitely recommend that you try this out with all the links that I use in today's video in the description below. But with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon so that you can access different AI subscriptions completely for free. Follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. But with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out fellas.